welcome to the Upside Down Show. I feel sixteen. Yes, I could do be like this. Oh, wait, 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 if you touch my wait. feet, oh. no, 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 hold on, hold on. So mm-hmm, wait, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. asked me to give you just a few seconds to mm-hmm. do something. Yeah, this is it. Oh yeah, aren't but, you impressed? I wanted to announce my arrival in a grand style. But you're not sixteen. Well, but I want to be. I mean, when I talk about sixteen, especially this song, you should know what I'm trying to say. What are you? Tr- did something happen during the week that I didn't catch? Well, DJ JJ just <laughs> dropped the beat. If you touch my finger, I could tell mommy I'll be serious. I think your mommy is watching. You better tell her now. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Upside Down Show, and I can assure you that it's really going to be a fun day. My name is Premier Dinami. And my name is Anto Kamana, and just like Prima started, trust me, it's packed with so much entertainment and rich and uh, rich conversations. You don't want to miss it, trust me, stay here. This is the Upside Down Show, we'll be right back. Shop on the Upside Down Show today. We have a conversation with one of Ghana's most iconic female artists. She's equal parts creative and controversial. The ever-dazzling hit maker, Ms. Bell, will be spilling it all on the show today. And later, the man with a unique fashion sense, viral fashion star Sibor, will be showing a different side of himself. All right here on Upside Down. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. The hashtag is upside down, and the WhatsApp number is zero five five zero five eight five three two. Let's hear from you. And then, Firma, hmm. <sighs> since you are already in the sixteen, I think I have to change my age. I'm, I think I'm nine. Oh well, I mean, what I about what for actually you? I know somebody who is nine, and I, just around the time uh, I be sixteen years came out. Yeah, yeah, I only know that person you are talking <laughs> about. She was just nine, you know, when sixteen years came. But I saying that you know music has really evolved yes. Ghana music has really evolved from way back then to what we are having now you know today we are talking about something really interesting now apart from the fact that she is a musician she has also done politics she has a story I mean um, with religion she she is a businesswoman and now she's operating one of the popular pubs you know in Tema yeah. you know I think that if I ever move from where I live, mm-hmm. that is, if I ever do that, I'll live in Tema. You know why? Because Tema is a place to be. Y- you are in Tema! Exactly. Yes! <laughs> yes, you know, I think Tema is so fun and um, all the action is in Tema. Oh, so, is a so, shaman close to Tema? Is yeah, it in Tema? Yeah, we do share a border anyway. Okay, so I think the assignment Tema mm. kind of stuff. Charlie, I'm also coming there. <laughs> My place is extremely boring, you know, but I have I have to age, you know, into fun and settle properly. It is a way age of bo- into fun. Of course, it's a way, of boosting, a way of boosting my immune system, you know, <laughs> that is very necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about anything and everything from the music to religion and anything and everything in between. I guess now. JJ will come back. Yes, yes. Because it's going to be a jamming session, you yes. know. So, JJ, thank you very much. Please don't go too far. We'll be calling you very soon. Thank you. Monica, mm. how are you? I'm okay. Beautiful yeah. sunglasses. Thank you. I'm wearing the most amazing makeup, and I wish I could expose it, but the lights. Mm. I it's have too bright for you. Yeah, my eyes. Mm. Yeah, you know, she, she doesn't see properly if she's how not can in you glasses. Say that? No, it's true. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. 
No, I can see. So, so she she will see you as an image sitting down, but she can't pick the details. Wow. Oh. Yeah. So it's not just for fun, you know. There's a reason to that. So the light is so strong. I have to wear my glasses. But even if it's for That's fun, who right. makes the I rules? I mean, superstars always wear glasses. We break protocols. I mean, they're so bright that they can't even see them. The future so. is so bright. You, <laughs> you have to like, cover. You have to cover your eyes. You don't go blind. You know. So <laughs> like, yeah, how is business? Um, not so bad, not so good, but. Mm. In between, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But actually, you know something? Mm -hmm. I think that Miss Bell has so much conversation around her. Mm -hmm. I think that, I mean, for everything that you can find when you Google, we are not going to waste time on that, you yes. know? So the Googleable details. <laughs> I think we all know how she started a career and the fact that she was also in the media and she decided to just quit it and yeah. do music. I can, I can sum it up if you want. Please do. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so it all started way back in school, uh -huh. but uh, for fun, I was in swimming preference at okay. the Abuakwa State College. Abu School. Yeah, yeah, Abuakwa State College. Shout out to Abu School days that I yeah. watched. So, so briefly, yeah, no, you know, and it was Did fun. You guys who went to Abu School. Yeah. Okay, so continue and the summary. And that's the reason why we became friends. So yeah, I, I attended at Walker State College. I was part of the entertainment team. Mm. Okay, back then we don't even call it team. Yeah. Assistant entertainment prefect. Mm. So yeah. I choreographed dance uh, like dance steps to Jennifer Lopez, Deborah mm. Cox and the rest. So I was like a fun person. Yeah. I had followers, mm. not like today when you have mm -hmm. to be on Instagram. I had yeah. like real, real life, human being real followers. life followers. <laughs> Everybody wants to be part of my team so that they can perform during yeah. streaming time. So it was fun. Mm -hmm. But I never ever thought that I would be a musician. I actually wished to be a broadcaster, maybe a, a TV presenter, mm. radio, like you know. But I ended up at Hasha Studios. Mm -hmm. I'll show a story short. I'm working on attachment. Okay. They had a studio day, it was available every time. Mm. And then the owner of the place, once in a while when they program a beat, he say, okay, go do a freestyle, go mm. do a freestyle. So I did a couple of freestyles. And then just one okay. day he said, okay, people like this song. have to put it out you have to do a photo shoot blah 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 wow. I'm like oh my god I can't do this <laughs> just like that yeah and I didn't want to do it but there were a few guys there who taught the songs mm. were mm. like amazing songs that has to go out so they encouraged me we did the uh, photo shoot the video shoot and the next thing I'm out there as Miss L wow wow interesting <laughs> so, so who, who was this person you um that so many people in the story. So which person? Okay. The producer? So the, the, the one who asked you to be in the studio? Daniela J. Okay. Mm. But the one that will record me, you beat and King Cyrus. Mm. Okay. And it was you beat that actually gave me the name Miss Bell because I'm Belinda. Yeah. So anytime he has to book me on like on the studio schedule, he will do Miss mm. and then he will do Bell. Bell. So when we're ready to like put me out, we wanted to, like a stage mm. name. So I check on the board. I'm like Miss Bell. Miss Belinda. So I said Miss Bell. Yeah. And they worked. And it caught on like wildfire. And here you are. And I started that trend. Now you go on social media and you see Miss this, Miss that. Yes, yes. Miss this. I mean, I'm like, okay, I'm the originator. Like, I started this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how was the relationship with him like? Actually, me and Danny, hmm. Hey, are you going to talk relationship? It was a relationship. Like, relationship, relationship? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was a. It was actually my first relationship. How old were you? I was. I was. Yes, I was not a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but okay. but he was. I your... was old, but he was very old. He was like I mm. think thirty something or twenty eight years old. Okay. No, no, no. 
he was like 30 something mm -hmm. over the years mm -hmm. older than me wow but he was nice he was mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. he was the daddy i never had he was my producer my my man my best friend he was wow. there like he he gave me stuff that i never got so when did he, when he started i mean blowing up how did he take it oh please he didn't take it easy so what, what like happened? he got jealous because now everybody wants a piece of Miss Bell. Yeah. People mm. are calling and he blocked a lot of my shows. When I get gigs wow. from like England, England, right? Yeah, London. London. I yeah, want to say England. London. When I get shows from London, mm -hmm. he wants to go with me. And if he say, okay, okay, this is a low budget show. You can't come, but we'll take care of it. He will cancel the show. Like mm, he wouldn't wow. let me go anywhere alone. He wants to check my phone calls, my messages, and if I cannot explain why this person is texting me this or that, he will beat the hell out of You're me. You're kidding me. me wow. double nine. If I take off my wig right now, you check like my forehead. I don't have any hair there anymore because I used to break my hair. When he's beating me, he will just grab my wig and throw me like this. What? And it will be just tearing. What were your parents? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> That's another story for another day. In, in question, and people are talking about that. Would you say it's healthy for an artist to actually? Have it's not healthy. A it's not healthy at all. Mm. Because if once you becomes you become famous, everybody wants a piece yeah. of you. You are so. Even if you're ugly, you become so beautiful. Mm -hmm. They hear your voice, mm -hmm. they love you. They see how you perform, they love you. Like yeah. everybody loves you. Sometimes people just love you for what you do, not because they want to have any kind of relationship mm. with you. But then the men get jealous. Mm. And then they start questioning you. Yeah. And you know when you you become famous and you're making money and all that, you, you become a little pompous. So yeah. you're like, why are you asking me this? Like, you know? Yeah. And then he, he'll beat you. Wow! I made I made you, Miss Bell. You I never made you this. At him to the police. Oh my, oh my, I started from a very poor background. He's giving me an apartment. I have my own toilet. I have my own bathroom. Wow. My own kitchen. How can I report somebody like that? Like he's giving me a life that I never had. Mm. I'm making money here and there. I'm giving my people like I can't report him. So I just try to you know you know let not let him see certain things mm. but most of the messages i i receive mm. is not because i'm interested in no it's just that people fans. love exactly. and then you know you read it and you have like a wide silly smile. smile and you're happy that somebody is so crazy about you but he didn't like that wow but yeah. were you making money at the time ah oh, charlie i was making <laughs> did i say charlie <laughs> no no okay, let's go <laughs> i was making a lot of money mm -hmm. like if you come to my apartment you open this drawer, there's money. You open this drawer, there's money. You go to my bathroom, there's money. My under my Whoa. pillow, there's money. Like, like there's money everywhere. Oh, and I was so young, and I was from a from oh, Jamestown. Yeah. I haven't seen money like that before, so I didn't think of investment. I feel like mm. money is there. Everybody come and drop some. Mm. And mm. it was it was fun. There okay. was money everywhere. Anything I think of, I can have it. Mm. So at what point did Castro come into your life? <laughs> no, no, yeah, shut, yeah. Shut mm -hmm. up. No. <laughs> so, what point? Um. So, oh, DJ Ames, may he so rest in peace. He mm. called me one day and he said, actually, we met at Busy Internet. Mm. Yeah. And he said, there's a show coming up. By then, I have recorded a song with Castro. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let me let me tell you the whole story. So, Castro mm -hmm. used to be an artist on. Um, JQ's label. Mm -hmm. So JQ did my songs and he realized, I think JQ saw that the future of my songs and he wanted Castro to be on. Okay. So he forced Castro on, even though Danny didn't like it. Okay. He forced Castro on the song. So then we have to like do shows together. So Ames and I met at Busy Internet. He was like, okay, I have a gig lineup for Castro. Mm. I want to put you on because you have some song, yeah. hit songs that Castro is on. And I'm like, okay. So we went to the shows together. One, to, one thing led to the other. Add, uh, one thing. Ato, 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 don't break the flow. Don't break the flow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to know the left is not juicy. Oh, yes. oh, no, no. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Ames put us together on a tour. Okay. Mm. Like a tour. So, mm. we went to the tour. Here yeah, in Ghana or? Yeah, in Ghana. Here in okay. Ghana. And okay. it was just us. No manager. The two of you on the tour? Yeah. Because okay. he said. I have a song with, I have like hit songs with Kashu, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he's putting up a tour together for Kashu. Mm -hmm. So he wants me on because Kashu will be performing those songs okay. and I have to be there. So I agreed. So we're on a tour. And Ames, a tour how long were you away? Ames didn't come, my manager didn't come, 
And so okay, but then I have cash through. Huh? You were like a, a chaperone. That's what it's no, no, like. he was doing his thing. I was doing my thing. Yeah. But wow. he wanted me on his troll. So okay. I was on the top with him. But there was no adults. Uh -huh. um, no, like a production person with you guys. Yeah, we were just with our dancers and bodyguards. Uh, and then Ames will talk to Kasho, my, my manager will talk to me. So, so And then we had uh -huh. drivers. And then we had money. Uh -huh. And we had a lot of drinks. So we were just so having fun. Is, it was nice. We should fill in the blank spaces. I mean, like, it was good. <laughs> no, that was bad. No, 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 no. But it wasn't like that. Like, that no, it was that like was. how. It wasn't like that. It that. was like how. Like, it was just fun. Okay, Until so 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 you go perform. He he also performs. I mean, we it's are on a the stage. No, we perform success. together. Okay, so you do the shows together. We do. It I mean, together. you have the amazing stage. events. You finish because of and we are all drunk. You are we drunk. go to the hotel and we all sleep and we all come home. Have but you slept in the same room with Castro before? Oh yeah, before? many times. So when okay. the tour was done, we came home. I was leaving at Marlon. Mm. So coming from. Uh, Takradi, we have to come through Kaswa, Mala. Yeah. So they came to my house. Mm. We are we landed up in my house. I, my sisters were there. They made food. We ate. Blah blah blah. I'm thinking these guys will go in the evening. They didn't go. They slept. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, they are tired. They slept. The next so day. So who are these guys? Kasho and who? Kasho, Skido, Kelly, some other guys. Like the whole gang. His gang. They mm. slept my house. Okay. The following day, we we were drinking, dancing, blah blah. blah. They slept again. They slept, 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 and then they started leaving with me. And it looks like you could do with the company. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. It was nice. Mm. So then everybody thought we were a couple, but we're not. Like we're not dating. Okay. okay. Was no. it, was this some kind of maybe like an open relationship or uh, maybe by circumstances or a partnership? That hap something oh. happened, but nothing too rigid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. No, we're living in the same house with his boys, with my girls, and you know. Were, were there like cross visits? Sometimes maybe he ends up in your room. You end oh, he up ends in up in my room like many times, but just end up there. But it ends there. <laughs> like he's in my room. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he is. My, but he's just in my room. Mm. Yeah, but people talk we're dating, and then I get so many attacks from his various girlfriends. I remember one time I went to Yagola, I was feeling like a big girl. You know, I was going <laughs> to chill. Some girl came to my car and said, Eh, hey, Castro, where he, blah, blah, blah. And like, joke, like, joke. Me, too, I was trying to act like, oh, I'm a, I'm a star. Like, yeah. go back. They dragged me out of my car <laughs> because they thought the car was for Castro. Castro. What, he was driving your car? He was driving my car everywhere. Okay. They dragged me out. And they say, if Castro doesn't come, they are not going to give me my so car. So the day you heard Castro is gone missing, okay. how did you feel? Before he went missing, we were not talking for like two years. Okay. Why? What, what happened? What happened? Oh, the friendship fell apart. Okay. The friendship fell apart, and then we're not talking. I think the last time we met before his his unfortunate mm. incident happened was when um, Ronnie died. Yeah. And then we went to the studio together. JQ put us all together to record like a tribute song. Mm. I went there blank, and Kasho was there, and I said, "Yo, write a song for me. I don't know what to say because me, I never used to hang out with Ronnie. Yeah. So he wrote a song for me before I could sing my part. Light off. Mm. So I went home. Uh huh. And then and when, it. yeah, I didn't do it. So when his issue happened, they call again and said, okay, come, let's do a tribute. So I'm like, did anybody confirm that he's dead? Besides, I don't have any lyrics. They said, oh, lyrics not trauma for Can you imagine? Uh, running a bit. That, man, no. And I'm like, I don't know if he's dead or. Yeah. So yeah. So did you do that? Or you no, 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 I didn't do it because right. I wasn't. Nobody confirmed to me that he's dead. So. I so what, what do you think of um, our music industry today? What the ladies are doing? Remember, not long ago there was beefs. I mean, here and there and all, ah. and the people calling themselves queen of this, queen yeah. of that. You know. Yeah, I heard queen of this, queen of that, and then suddenly I heard goddess. And I'm like, really? <laughs> Stay in your lane. I'm the only goddess here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, everybody yeah. was like, I'm queen this, yeah. queen that, shatter this, shatter that, empress. And then I started this goddess thing. Yeah. And a lot of them, goddess of this goddess. Yeah. I'm like, no, you can't be a goddess. No. You have to be a goddess when you have been through so much mm -hmm. and come out with a big smile. Yeah. You have to go through a lot of hustle. Mm. You have to earn it. You can't just call yourself a goddess yeah. because you believe that you are good at what you are mm. doing. I appreciate their hard work. Mm. I love most of the things they do, but don't take my title. 
<laughs> like, oh, the beef is really helping. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the beef between Efia and Eno, when it started... As a sister Efia. Sister Efia and yeah. Eno Baroni, yeah. if I yeah. got yeah. me right. Like it was healthy. Mm. Because Efia that we know, Sister Efia is a singer. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I didn't know that she's a rapper. Mm. But the first rap she did, it was okay, but I would give her like 60 mm -hmm. or 50. But after Eno replied, she came back with something that was like 99. Mm. She was like, I, and she I'm did here. it well. And I admired that because yeah. Eno brought something out of this day here. Mm -hmm. And she could like comfortably call herself a rapper mm. because she yeah. did it well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was healthy. Yeah. Even though they were throwing shades and saying, you know, stuff, it was normal. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, these little little girls came out and this this they messed the whole thing up. They made it like some as a water bottle can come up, come up be night and party a bit. Like it was so much. Ew. Oh, they, they they mess up the whole beef. Mm, mm. And then they would not even let go. And everybody was just attacking since they fear. So just yesterday, I called and I said, see, I saw an article. I saw an article with this girl trying to like ride on you to mm. become. Don't respond. Mm. You're a big girl. You've earned it. Yeah. You sing well. You rap well. You've proved yourself. Don't let anybody come and say this to you and then you reply. Mm -hmm. If they want to be famous, yeah. they have to earn it. Mm. Don't earn it by talk, talk, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> like my son is <laughs> saying. <laughs> so, so ha have you grown? Hey, I feel like I'm talking too much. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm enjoying this conversation. I'll to answer you. I am, I am. So, have you groomed oh, any female artist? Hmm. Yes, I did. But the heartbreaking thing is that two of them said to me that, "I say Nipa and Shadam Pewasem. So please, is it possible that you release that and put us out there? So like, do everything mm. you're supposed to do to make us famous, but don't let anybody know that you are the one behind us." And mm. how did you feel about it? It broke that? my heart. Yeah. Mm. And I, I told them that I thought you believed in me. Mm -hmm. I thought you loved me. I thought you loved everything about me. That's why you came to me. I didn't know that you needed help. I thought, you know. You wanted us yeah. to if work. If you need help and you come to me and you say, I need help. There's a way I'll help you. Yeah. But if you come to me and say, I want to do music and blah, blah, blah. I feel like you believe in my musical yeah. career. That's why. And then you come and tell me that. Oh, we want to be out there, but we don't want people to know that you are the one behind well, us. Is it because, um, you know, you publicly came out to um, declare your stance with uh, a certain pot political party? And then also and religion. Mm, but mm. then you know all of that, but you still came to me and asked for help to do mm, music. Mm. So right away, I think you believe in my music. Mm. Regardless of whatever it is, yeah, you still want to okay. work with me. But are these people we know? No. Mm. No. Okay. okay, but they are, they are amazing singers. Trust me, they yeah. are amazing singers. They are on social media, but they get one like, two likes here and there. Mm -hmm. But they sing very well, and I wish them well. I so, let them go. Yeah. So did it, um, your political affiliation that did it do anything to your career? Oh yeah, it hurt my career a lot. Mm. Yes, yes. Up to now, just because I supported my party, I came out mm. to say, okay, I'm NDC, blah blah blah. Mm. I yeah 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 yeah. yeah. But would you still do it? <laughs> I will because I'm in DC. Mm. What's your relationship? Why... What's your relationship with former President Mahama like? He's like my dad. Mm. Mm. Is he your friend? No, I can't say he's my friend. I'll be so like disrespectful. But mm. he's like my dad. I can talk to him at any it. time. Yeah, 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 about anything. I can. So, like, what, what are some of the things you talk about? My dad, I cannot. The way I can talk to former president, I cannot talk to my dad like that because he doesn't give me that room to talk to him mm -hmm. like that. I didn't know my dad was MPP until recently. Mm -hmm. I was sending broadcasts about uh, JM and the th his achievements yeah. and what MPP is not doing. Blah blah blah. One day, my dad told me, "Don't send me. Demu kwa I don't know. Don't send me, you." And I'm like, in Kwasa Dibbe, so I checked everything I've sent him because I never sent him anything like porn or comedy or something like that. Yeah. Ah. What is it? It's just politics and social stuff. So I said, that was a man sending me VBA of yeah, and this is. And I'm like, okay. Sorry. I didn't know my dad was. Mm. And I told him that, and I, I thought he didn't know what's up. I told him that if I can't send you stuff like that, then I have to block you. And he said, okay, and oh, no, 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 then they're blocking me. <laughs> hey, 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 wow. <laughs> and I blocked him. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I was so upset. Are you that much in love with NDC? Like, I was born 
nothing to envy. See, I grew up knowing Andy. So I didn't know anything else. Because your father is an NPP. The father and, and born never into it. Knew. I grew up with my mother. Okay. Mm. I grew up in Jamestown. Yeah. Everybody around me is NDC. The language mm. we speak is NDC. NDC is like a religion. Mm. Me, wow. if you so any leader we have is a lord that we have. Mm. So me, I don't know any other party. Now we have the prophets. We are in a season of prophets. There are no prophets. No more prophets. There's no prophet anywhere. Not in Housing. Ghana, Housing. not in Israel. Because see, in the Bible, somewhere in Malachi, it mm -hmm. says Malachi is the last prophet. Mm -hmm. There will be no other prophet apart from Malachi. I wish I can remember that quotation. So anybody that comes after Malachi to say they are prophets, you need to stone them. They are not, they are not prophets. Mm, this is really, really, really getting so juicy. But I bet you there's so much mm. in stock. But I think now, Ato, um, Middle has to just pause, yeah. you know. Let's get DJ JJ on. Yeah, where's JJ? Where's you JJ? Know, yeah, 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 JJ. Yeah, please get Miss Bell's microphone for me. Please get her microphone. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. Go, and there JJ, you go. please play something, you know. Miss Bell is here. I mean, let's just have a feel. <laughs> you know. What are you going to sing? <laughs> anything. I mean, you sing to anything that DJ JJ plays, but right? I can sit, right? It's okay to sit. Please, mm, I want to sit. We'll but see, Miss we'll Bell's sitting My heels hurt. My heels hurt. My heels hurt. No, you can take off your shoes. Oh, <laughs> I can take off mine too to help you. DJ, if you DJ. want to. DJ, 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 just drop something. Guess what I told I am 16 years. I'm gonna be like the star. If you touch my thing, I'm gonna tell mommy you. I've been 16 years. I'm gonna be like the star. If you touch my thing, I'm gonna tell mommy you. <laughs> Don't be keep the pace, not the race. Check me up, but don't be silly. And then here, this is 16. <laughs> okay. Hey. Don't f up. I don't take chips, so make you try and f up. You didn't hear me, I got us. I'll be in a. The Nigel issue is Nigel Gazi a kind of I mean some like, like I mean his kind that you would like to date. No 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 he's not my type of guy. No, so, no, no. so I don't do what, your what guy. Do you? <laughs> okay. I like all the men. Like, How old? I mean, what should the age gap like be? Like fifty plus. Okay. Actually, sixty plus. Ooh. Yeah. So, what do you look for in a guy? 
like you have to be like classy vintage calm not too much sex you want to talk about business you want to walk me pop champagne remy martin here and there like mm. have a conversation you like to be pampered yeah mm -hmm. he will carry your bag open your door pull yeah. you a chair kind of guy <laughs> but do you like them fair do you like them short do you like them tall i like them tall mm -hmm. and huge Ooh. like <laughs> really tall and huge where you can actually feel the whole body and it's like are you dating now yeah i'm, I'm in a very healthy relationship are you going yeah. to marry him no why uh, i don't feel like everybody needs to get married you know i don't feel like marriage mm. is for everybody the same way i don't feel like everybody needs to be a nurse or a doctor or a journalist or this some people are meant to okay. do certain things. Me, I don't oh, feel I like... I think you're just making JJ stand for too long. So DJ JJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop it like it's hot! Drop it like it's hot! Thank you. <laughs> Actually, we'll call you back again. Don't go too far. <laughs> Let's give a hand for JJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's amazing. <laughs> I'm not married. I'm single. Mm. Yeah. I'm not a single lamb. You're in a relationship. <laughs> but, a very but, healthy one. But I want, like, a, a, somebody you? standing at the door. So that's, you know... Mm. But he you know, treats you well. Your boyfriend treats you well. Extremely now. well. Would you he's, leave him anytime soon? He's just too nice. It's, I don't know. Well, I you don't like nice people. I like nice people, but I have never had somebody like him before. Okay. Like he's just too nice. So sometimes I feel like maybe he's setting me up to leave me someday. I don't know. So is, is he is he Aaron's father? <laughs> <laughs> No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. So where's Iran's yeah. dad? He's around. He's 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 is he in Ghana. He's in Ghana. He's he he's cool. But you know, then he feels like I'm so much on social media mm -hmm. and I'm not supposed to be there and blah blah blah. Like he's always but that's who I was before that's who I am before you came into my mm -hmm. life and you were okay with that. Is Nigel oh, Gazi your friend? He was my friend. I don't like How him did you anymore. meet him? How did I meet him? Hmm. <laughs> You said that you guys were, were school. They went to, he, did, he, did he come to meet you in school? No, no, no. He told me. So whether he's okay. telling the truth or lying, I don't know. Well, I should be good friends. Me, I didn't see him as prophet because he didn't present himself as a prophet, as a prophet to me. He presented himself as, as former student of yeah. Ebu Akwa State College. Am I talking too much? <laughs> <laughs> no, like a former student of a work mm. State Calais, somewhere NDC sympathizer. Yeah. Come on, oh, we, so, we both so have like common enemies. Oh, I mean, he hasn't hit, uh, hidden that. Mm, okay, yeah, I, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. We have like a common enemy, mm, mm. and so we're cool. We talk. We never okay. discuss. So how do you call him? Yeah. I mean, when he was a friend, how did you call him? Sometimes I call him Nigel. Sometimes I call him Junior. Okay. But he has always referred to me as a senior. Okay. Senior, we okay. Senior, the senior, that senior, mm. that. So mm. yeah. So I trusted him. I yeah. thought he was a cool person, and I thought that you know because he has this title as a prophet, prophet or a man of God, he'll be you know. But unfortunately, he was, you know. So he was. So, so were you <laughs> hanging out? I mean, we were friends. Was it just on we phone? We talk all the time. Out? We hang out twice. Okay, in his house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you the went first, to his house. The first time was cool. The second time was horrible. What? What? what is he married? He told me. He told me that he's not married. Okay, but he, have you found out? He told that me he was, he was dating. He told okay. me he has a girlfriend in the media. In the media, some pretty girl. I wish I could mention her. <laughs> Do you know the person? She, you know she, the she likes to wear red. Let me give you a clue. Okay, but can you tell us where she works or something? No, she mm. said she said she said as a newscaster. He told me that oh, I'm dating this person, but she she's rude and she doesn't respect. And I'm thinking of breaking up with her and blah blah blah. You know, <laughs> this is a puzzle. You that that's what she told, told me. Yeah. And 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 then she mentioned, but the girl. If you want to know, she likes to wear, wear red. Okay. And she. It's she's, not me. Red is my favorite color. I like wearing red. It's but not she wears me. red all the time. She's very curvy. She's a little curvy. Oh, and okay. Very... That's why. Do you have a clue? Uh, no, no, no. Well, well, I, well. I, I, I really don't want to think about it. Ooh, but he told Juicy. me that the girl is dating, but she's rude. Okay. And she, he's thinking of breaking up with her. So mm. I respected that. Like, at least you have a woman. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me, oh, come, let's hang out and talk, mm -hmm. I will gladly walk into your home mm -hmm. to talk because. You've told me about your hold woman. On, hold on. So the girl, no. 
you know, mm. the newscaster, no? is she dark? Is she fair? She's light-skinned. Okay. What's going oh, on? Oh, she's light-skinned. Like, she's, she's, she's pretty. Like, she's a light-skinned girl. She's pretty. Like, she's pretty. Okay. okay. So, she's so pretty. wait. Let, let, she's let like me a just... slay queen kind of. I think, wow. okay, okay. Right, so, okay. at that point, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> so, at that point, <laughs> okay. clearly, he was making advances at you. Were you ready no, to? No, he didn't make advances at me. And you can't be a young. So, the second time you met, Nai was horrible. No? What happened? I can't talk about it. It's in the oh, no, not, not details, but at least what made it a horrible experience? Uh, yeah, it was a was horrible school. experience, sister. Did he harass you? Sister. Did he beat you? <laughs> <laughs> I think, no, I think you need no, some because, of the truth see, yeah, kind of see, just broke if it was months back, I mm. would have told you everything. Mm -hmm. But we've settled the issue. Okay. You and Nigel. And a few people. Oh, so it was a big case that so, yeah, needed because, like see, certain down to settle. Because see, I, put, I, I took him on on social media. Mm. It was a big deal. Yeah. And then people came in and were like, okay, you don't need to settle your issues on social media. Let's talk. Mm. And we did. So you guys settled it verbally without any compensation or nothing? Sure. Like. Without any compensation, say. I miss Mel. Like, there was a compensation. I'm comfortable mm. with it. So wow. what, what, what one act did he do for you it to know? It was a know? horrible so, act. No, no, not, not, not what asking. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, what one act did he do it for, you to, um, no, for you to let go? It was the compensation. The yeah. money? Not just money, but it was... The apologies and then also he he ag as accepted and admitted that he wronged hey, you. You've pushed me. Oh, <laughs> oh no 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 no! no. I'm the, the yeah, last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, he accepted that he wronged me. Mm. I like that word. Like yeah. he, he, and he said, "Oh, I'm a young guy. Sometimes I get carried away, and I understood." Wow. Okay. I didn't understand, so, but I tried. So, on, so, was it on the phone? Was it? No, 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 it was physical physically? with people. With people. So, was it setting? Was it standing? I mean, how, how did he say <laughs> I sorry? I don't say how. <laughs> if, if, if I say how it was, it will, it will look so bad on his part. But it won't. I, I felt good. I like how he did it. Like, okay. I'm human, and that's all I wanted. You okay. know. Let me, let me just quickly throw this in. Um, you know, quite recently, um, an actress. Uh, you have to edit this interview. What is DJ JJ? I mean, I think DJ JJ should be on. You know, to start giving us something to cool us down. So yeah, so Rosemont Brown was in the in the um in the social media world buzzing because she took a picture with her son. What's yeah. your opinion on that? You are a mother. Yeah, my opinion was like this and like that at the mm. same time. I, I wasn't sure when I first saw the picture. I was like, what the, how could you, you know, it didn't seem, you know, there was, there are so many ways you can take a nude photo with your child that yeah. will look okay. Mm -hmm. That didn't look okay. Mm. But a caption could have made it okay. Yeah. Mm. Me, if it was me and I was posing with my son at the part like that, yeah. like that pose, I would have said that, I would have put a caption that. This is who I am before I gave birth to you, and this is mm. who I am going to be for the rest of the life. So please, when you grow up and you see stuff like this about me on mm. social media, don't leave me. Like, don't abandon me, Miss Bell. I would have said that, <laughs> and it would have made perfect yeah. sense. People yeah. will see my yeah. nakedness, yeah. and they will still be like, okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. She didn't. Right. She, she right. didn't have anybody right. to help her plan. Mm. So, but they should let just leave her alone. Nanepia. <laughs> You've been amazing. Yeah, Miss Bell, who has been with us, uh, you guys have been sending lots of messages we've seen. Um, they're scrolling down on your screens. And um, before we go on the break, mm -hmm. DJ is here ready to take us away. We are <laughs> going to change the show upside down. When we come back, you guys will be shocked. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>